our next guest knew she wanted to be a chef by the ripe old age of four. <laughs> wow, that late, huh? And she was a top chef finalist who's trained with some of the world's best. Please welcome back to our home, executive chef Heather Terhune. Thank you. It's gonna be back. You always make us the most delicious oh. desserts. We're a big fan of your work, oh, Heather. thank you. No, I, I understand this sticky toffee pudding that we are about to eat, and we're about to dig into, Allie, Paigey, and Lawrence. <laughs> I can't oh, wait. Yeah, we don't have to wait. Have wait. Have wait. No. <laughs> Should I wait? This is the number one seller it at is. your restaurant. I've like moved it from restaurant to restaurant because people request it. So I'm like hoping it fits concepts. How long has it been number one for you? Forever? <laughs> is this the first time you made it, right? Probably, yeah. So why is it so, so popular, do you think? Uh, you know, it's got, if you called it a date cake, I don't think anybody would order it. They'd be like, no. ew, I don't like dates. But if you call it sticky, warm, toffee, has it's all those. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call I, it. Like, it's not too sweet, oh. though, right? And it's no, got it's dates perfect. in it, like, which are high in fiber, so it's almost healthy. It's healthy. It's <laughs> special. It is very, very special. All right, <laughs> let's get started. Let's okay. tell everyone how to make it. All right, so first in a bowl, right here is just all-purpose flour, okay. a little baking oh. powder, and salt. Mm -hmm. It's okay. going to have two kinds of leavening. Um, we have some chopped dates here. So you just pitted chopped dates. Pitted chopped dates. Yep, try and find the really soft one. I like medjool dates. They're okay. the best ones, I think. All right. Um, and you just got to chop them really fine. I like to use a food processor for that. Right. It seems to make it easier. So we just have some boiling water, okay. which we're going to add into this date mixture. This is going to help extra soften the dates. Okay. Typically, That's a great tip. Yeah, I think that it helps give it that... Um, really moist gooey. flavor and gooey flavor to the cake. Okay. And nobody really knows there's dates in this. So if you want to add, this is yeah. baking soda. So obviously soda. since all those dates, it's like really just super healthy. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine <laughs> fiber, very good for you. Yeah. So just Who add the baking it? soda into here. This it's is gonna be like a volcano. I don't know if like it'll- when you're in science class, remember? <laughs> is that what it's gonna do? No. Oh. It doesn't have any acid in it, but yeah. it'll, it'll just help uh, the dates all soften. Oh, well that and was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> typically this dessert, it's a traditional English as we were talking about, you yeah. lived in the UK. Um, it's usually steamed. A lot of people didn't have stoves, so they would it. It would have less water in it. I add more water so we can bake it in the oven. Mm. You know, nice. No one really wants to steam a cake, right. I think, in the middle of summer. Right. And sticky toffee pudding all over England is phenomenal, even at the like the. Even at the bars, the pubs would have mm, sticky toffee pudding. Good. And I would order it, and people would be like, what are you doing? And it, it still was better than anything I've ever had in my life. So, so good. Um, okay. So in the mixer, there's uh, butter. We're going to cream butter and sugar. That's going to create the base of this cake. OK. We're going to add two eggs. Do you want to do this? Sure. We're going to add them one at a time. OK. So cream the butter and sugar until it's light and fluffy. We'll turn this up a little Kick bit. Kick her up a notch. Yep, you want to just have it incorporate a little bit. OK. Add the other one. Perfect. Perfect. And then if we need to, we'll scrape it down, scrape down. The sides. Well, we, we'll turn it off for a minute. You can scrape down the sides. It already looks so beautiful. And we're going to add vanilla extract. Okay. You, you can't find vanilla extract right now because there's a shortage. Is there really? A little, oh. Yeah, vanilla beans have a little bit of a shortage right now. My if you goodness. go to the store, they're super expensive. Okay. Um, all right, so that's all stirred in. Yep. All right, we're going to turn this. If you want to scoop, this is the flour mixture. We're going to put the flour mixture in here. A little bit at a time. Yep. Like I would do right. half, and then we'll turn the mixer back on. Okay. And then, you know what I always do? I do the full thing. I know you're not supposed to, and oh, I just you cover do it. That? No, it oh, doesn't you... matter. I just cover it with a towel, so <laughs> that then it might be faster. As long all. as you don't put it on high, you're okay. gonna get a nice flower. Uh, Watch this flower puff. All right, you're, you, you seem to be a pro. Oh, I can't wait to oh. see this. this. I like a, this trick, this Debbie. Is good. We got her. We got her. Oh, that's great. Oh, there and you, you cover go. it. So it oh my goodness! And still walk away. Magic. That's good. That's, that's a Sometimes good tip. Sometimes at the restaurant we wrap it with plastic wrap. Exactly. But something that's gonna splatter. There you go. Now she's not gonna right. splatter so anymore. So we're not gonna mix it too, too much. For my next trick. Because <laughs> now we're gonna add all of this in at one time. So this is gonna look like, what are you doing? This chef doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> it's gonna look like a, a little bit of a watery, Bath. kind of a mess. Almost, so be careful when you turn it very slow, when you turn it back on, because remember, it's <laughs> That's boiling That's the slowest water. it's going. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, you can mix the rest of it in by hand if you want to. Okay. That's usually what I do, so that we're not going to splash boiling water on ourselves. I cannot splatter. wait to see what happens here, because if I made this and, I, and the consistency was that, I'd yeah, be like, I did something like, wrong. I made a mistake, yeah. Yeah. this is terrible. Yeah. But what's happening here is, is that we added more water so that the cake can be 
steam in the oven instead of steaming a cake on top of the stove right. top, right? This, you can also make this batter the day before. So is it and supposed to? put it in the refrigerator? Yes, it's supposed this to look like that. This is supposed to be the soupy? <laughs> it is. Oh my goodness. So this makes, okay. this makes several servings. So we just wanna make sure it's incorporated um, and that the butter is gonna, the heat of the water is going to melt the butter a little bit okay. and dissolve the sugar. And then what you're gonna do is, is take this cup into these prepared pans, okay. and you're gonna scoop, you can take a full scoop and scoop right into oh, the boy, ramekins. I love that you're using the ramekins, like it's really a cute presentation, it's but perfect. you could do this in a bigger dish yep, if you, you wanted just to, need right? just a two-quart baking dish, ceramic or glass, um, and you could bake a full one if you want to. Nice. And this so is that's really perfect. Gonna... So that holds like a cup. These are great. It makes about six individual portions. And this is really going to um, poof up because it has baking soda and baking powder. It right? is. So it's going to leaven. It does have a science project sort of delicious <laughs> yeah. vibe. I am telling you. Right, but it was super simple. No, to I, know. Yeah. I get it. No, right? I'm in. I'm so in. we're going to bake it 350, 20 okay. minutes. So oh, that's we're gonna, it. That's we're quick. Pop this guy in. Oh my goodness. Okay. Then we have goodness. some that are ready. And you're gonna see oh, that wow, those are really they so smell good. all caramely and delicious. And we could eat them just like that, but then you have a delicious we butterscotch could. sauce to go we on could. top. So oh, we could. that's what's this. happening right. here. Yeah. So sometimes you make a toffee cake and the sauce ends up being part of the dish. So mm -hmm. this is just butterscotch sauce, dark brown sugar, corn syrup, a little, a uh, lot of butter, I shouldn't nice. say a little, uh, salt, and okay. then it becomes this really delightful, um, that's mix. amazing. So you can also serve extra on the side if you want oh, to. Yeah. So once the cakes, we serve them warm, you pour on the butterscotch sauce. It adds, it starts to soak into the cake. I usually, if I make them ahead of time, I put the sauce on and then just pop them back into the oven. So that, uh, oh yeah, gold for, sprinkles. For extra festivities, because ah. it's Christmas in July. And we have vanilla ice cream in the freezer. Okay. Which, let me grab that. We also had it on our plate, but that's yeah, gone. Yeah, but that is <laughs> gone. We also had it here, but, but like, that's gone. It's butterscotch sauce, it just like, I don't know, caramelizes yeah. on the side yeah. a little bit. Oh. I think this one definitely did go in the oven. It's so rich and delicious. It stays really moist. You yes. can put a little bit of vanilla ice cream on top. Oh, Julie. You can use whipped cream. I sometimes like to use creme fraiche, just straight out nice. if you want it to be a little bit more sour. I know this looks so beautiful, and whatever you guys are seeing at home, just know that it is like a hundred times better <laughs> oh. than how beautiful it looks. It and is so good. Debbie put gold sprinkles all over everything, so that's well, just, uh, you know, makes everything. That's okay. Better. We approve. Oh, right? Isn't that the truth? Oh. That's all right. my so well, Cheers, our sprinkles. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Waiting. Wait, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now right? you know. Yeah. Now you know. It's First like the magic. It's like the <laughs> sauce <laughs> makes it right. Like. Really great. You can serve this to a crowd. It's easy. You can make it ahead of time. I could see it as a date oh night dessert God. with a glass of wine. Oh my gosh. Heather, it is delicious. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much you. for being Heather, here. And you guys can find this recipe on HallmarkCanal.com. <laughs> oh, you. so yummy.